great day and happy December. Um, is anyone else like very surprised that it is December? I'm where did 23 go? 23, 2023 go because I'm genuinely kind of shook that we are in the first week of December as normal. My chair creaks. I'm sorry if it bothers you. Uh, so, um, today we'll be going over my 2024 journal lineup. So I hope you enjoy and um, I'll see you at the end. So first journal we're going to talk about are my junk journals. Um, so this year, I actually have a couple that I'm going to be using. So um, with that being said, I'm going to keep my buying ban for the first half of 2024 as I did in 2023. I'll talk more about the buying ban towards the end of the video. Um, but this means I'm going to use um, an already started journal which is my, I don't know how to say this, maybe like your shine, your, your shine. I'm um, not this notebook. It's, I got this forever ago. It is a very similar size to the moleskin that I'm always showing you guys that is completely full now. I have the specs of it on the screen, but I just have it in the dotted grid and I do have some pages already done. Like I said, the goal of the buying ban is to use journals I've already used before. So I think there's a good, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten journals entries in here that I already used. So as you can see, it's not even halfway, it's not even at the halfway mark. So this is the main one I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using this green journal my mom bought me, my mom bought me, my mom gave me, uh, her job was giving them away, uh, so they have like her job on them, which is why they're just covered up. Um, so I don't actually have specs to really give you, all I can really say is that it's this lime green color that I'm obsessed with, and inside it is lined paper. I was going back and forth with what to use this for, um, and I was just like, I feel like it'd be kind of cute to use it for. Uh, my normal junk journaling and memory keeping. So that is what it's going to stay. If I choose to switch it up, I'll use either my 2023 Hobonichi Teco. Teco. I always do that. Teco, Techo, Techo. Whenever I open it and I see Techo, my brain reads Techno. So then my mouth says Teco. My Hobonichi Teco, Techo. Oh my Jesus. I was using it at first um, as a normal um, planner, but then I just got to the point where I was like, no, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I ended up wanting a different size, so I started just to do my normal junk journal in it, um, but it ended up being very cute and I'm still obsessed with Hobonichi, still my favorite journal, uh, but um, that is what I will use this for if I decide to switch it up. The pages are really cute and I just adore Hobonichi's. I also use my pocket moleskin, which I've been using quite a lot recently. I just think it's so cute and I really like to have a pocket um, journals to just go places with me. Um, I don't normally take this one out. Uh, the one I do take out with me will be towards the end of the video in my miscellaneous category. So if you want to check that out, you can just skip over ahead, but that's what this one is. Uh, I think that's it for my, what do you call them? I think that's it for my junk journals. I think these are the only ones I'm going to use. Um, I could possibly use others, um, but I, these are just going to be the main junk journals that I use. Okay, we're going to move on to a, my reading journal. So... I kept going back and forth with my reading journal because I haven't done a reading journal in a very long time. I'm going to move my cup because I think it's kind of in my way. There we go. So, I decided to, for my reading journal, I was going back and forth between this and using my six ring and binder. But I decided to go with one of my spirals for my reading journal. I have a three pack of these rectus, rectus I just... Me and speaking just don't exist together. 
red to see dotted spiral notebook so the inside are these very light shaded dots like i don't even know you can see from that far how light they are i had to get them from amazon all of the links to these journals will be below don't worry something i like about spirals is that i don't necessarily have to worry about binding breaking when i get when it gets too thick and starts warping like my moleskin my more my moleskin as much as i love moleskin notebooks it started warping so quickly and it just it's it's a lot that's why i actually had to stop putting stuff in my last flip through my last journal flip through because it just did not help with the warping and all that so this one is actually my sketchbook just now realizing this one is the one i'm going to be using i haven't actually had a reading journal in quite some time so it'll be nice to kind of start back on that um when it first came out, my mom bought me the Clockwork Reader uh, reading journal, and I do quite like it. Um, but I think for the most part, I'm just going to use this for my favorite reads. So when I was originally using it, I was not um, using it for my favorite read. I was legitimately using it as um, just whatever I was reading that year. But I kind of like that there's so many pages of where you can write your favorite um your favorite <laughs> why can't i talk y'all i love that there's so many places you can write the books you like and i have such shit memory that i really want to use this for just my favorite books now you can use this as a regular reading journal um because there is a place in the back to like put your favorite childhood books your anticipated reads and stuff like that and you can also do your favorite movies, TV shows. I'm pretty sure there's a place for like your actual favorite movie, prayer books. I'm sorry. The way I can't talk. Favorite quotes, favorite authors, and stuff like that. So this will just be used for my favorite books in a general sense. Not just for a year, but I'll just fill it up until I can't fill it up anymore with my favorite books of like all time. Which I think is a great way to use this instead of using it. Or a regular reading journal where I have to periodically keep up with it. Okay, just realized I didn't take out my commonplace, so we're gonna go get that. So, what I decided this year was to ex nay using my commonplace from my field notes. So, I was using these babies as my commonplace notebooks um honestly it just became too like small for me to use for that for because first of all i write big uh, when you guys see me write small it's because i'm like actively trying to write small my natural handwriting is actually quite big um so writing in this is a little bit harder when i'm trying to make it neat and everything so i remembered that i actually have this old six frame binder i think it used to be like a brain dump binder I ended up taking out all of the um, pages that were in here and it was not used a lot. The plus side to this, I think, is that I can take these out. Uh, I love these for my K-pop journaling when I used a K-pop journal. I have not K-pop journaled in a very long time. Uh, but I can easily just pop this out, take it out, do my journal, and put it back in and i can always buy new inserts i have like a billion of these all over the place because i love grid paper and i also have craft paper and black paper so i really enjoy um the flexibility that binders have i got this from etsy a billion years ago i'm gonna try and put it in the description i don't 100 percent remember where i got it like what's this shop's name but i'm gonna try if i can't find the exact one i'll try to find one that's similar to this one it's this um really busy one i i, I kind of regret not getting just a regular six screen binder um because this one is like metallic and it's kind of a lot um this was my original front page from when i had my brain dump it says volume two because i think there's another one somewhere so I created this whole thing, background and all. It's very cute. It's very cute. I'm going to take it out. I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was adorable. Um, but anyway, this binder also came with this little bookmark and this ruler, which I thought was a really nice touch. And yeah, I just think it'll be really great for me to commonplace in. Oh my god, is this broken? No, it's not. I'm just stupid. Um, a lot more space and a lot more durability than things with bindings. I'm 
really, really trying to move away from journal book binding where information is concerned. So when it's memory keeping and stuff like that, I don't mind. But when it's stuff that's like information that I know is going to take up a lot of space, I've really been liking spirals and I've been liking my six ring binder. So yeah, moving on. Okay, this journal I'm actually very excited to try out. Again, I did not bring it with me. And that is this Peter Popper Press. Is that how you say it? I think it's Peter Popper Press. Is that what it is? Yes. So back in 2016 or 2017, my sister ended up buying me this for I think Christmas. Um, and I did genuinely try, as you can see, there's pages missing. To use it but I could not figure out what to use it for so I put it away and it's been put away for years it's so gorgeous and I really 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 wanted it whatever I put in it to kind of be something that me and my sister like together uh, I thought it'd be cute since she bought it for me she's not gonna ever see it but I just thought it'd be cute that being said I kept putting off a cafe slash coffee journal because most of the time I am at home making coffee or ordering it to go so I kept thinking that because of because I didn't go out at least two times a month then what exactly was the point point? then I saw um uh, what's her name journal with Jasmine's uh flip through and she talked about how she had a big gap between uh journal she's in her coffee journal and that made me feel a lot better so in this, I will put all things cafes, coffee, things I like, like recipes, what I like, what I don't like, as well as um, at home things I make and products I like and all those types of things. At first, I was going to try to use my passport traveler's notebook, um, but instead I chose to use this one. I have two passports. This one just holds my field notes and then I have another one over here somewhere. And this one holds all of my just regular journals. So you can see we have this one. This was the insert that I made. So again, junk journal stuff. I junk journal on my passport size as well. I just think the sizing is so adorable. I love journaling small. And I was going to think about, I was thinking about using these as my coffee journal just because I mean the color of this and just like it being all small and stuff but I also really like the ability to make things big uh, so this is gonna be my coffee journal it's not gonna go anywhere with me I'll talk about that later on um, and about traveling with journals later on but this is a line journal and look at that edge it is I hope you can see it's gold it's just so beautiful like my sister a one gift giver Okay, we're going to move on to miscellaneous journals. So that includes my field notes, that includes my mythology. Um, and there's one more I wanted to show you guys. Which one was it? I don't remember. Whatever, we'll just do these two. So, field notes. I'm going to start using it as scratch paper and note taking when I'm out. This will be so I'm not taking, you know, like heavy journals with me everywhere. And... Um, I can jot down what I want to transcribe in the bigger journals later. So if I am out and I don't want to bring that big old commonplace, I can just open this, open this to a page, and jot down thoughts and quotes and things that I like that then I can transcribe into my bigger um, six ring binder. As for my mythology, so this was initially supposed to be um, a normal junk journal that I normally use on here, but I decided to use it instead as what I call my little things journal. So basically for me, it's a journal um, I only allow happy things in. I want to try to, I don't, so I don't normally like super organize my journals into separate uh, particulars, um, but I just told myself that, you know what, this, this year I'm just gonna use this as um, my happiness journal like there's nothing in here that I'm going to write about sadness I'm just gonna have a journal where I look back on and I'm like you know what this is making me very happy like these are these are things I did and um, places I went hold on I'm trying to not show my identity um that really makes me happy so it could be something as small as me going to the library and me talking about how much I love the library 
or me having a lazy day with my sister. Um, Halloween, which is like my favorite holiday. Um, again, another day out with my sister. We went to go see Christmas lights. Like, it's just gonna be little things. So I can, if I ever look back on it, I can be like, wow, I genuinely had so much fun doing this and that. And I don't want to call it a gratitude journal because it's really not a gratitude journal, but it's to remain grateful and stuff like that. So I really have been enjoying doing that in this one. If you see um, pages empty, it's because I did them ahead of time and I'm gonna go back and write in them later. But yeah. So moving on to the last part of this video, it is my buying ban rules for the new year. So much like last year or this year, I put myself on a buying ban from January, no, from February through July. I was not allowed to buy any stationery and I kept it to stationery because I don't really spend money on lots of other things. Um, but I'm gonna change up some of the rules this year. So the rules are as follows. No buying, again, from February to July. Um, to make it a six month buying ban this does not include holidays or gifts like if someone buys me something okay i'm not gonna go out of my way and ask people to buy me anything um but if you know like for instance my mom bought me the reading journal if you know someone buys me a journal or someone buys me a stationery that they know i would like that's something totally different but i'm not going to physically ask for it and i'm not going to physically buy it i'm going to only use what i have already um or that it's free so like if i get a newspaper that i don't have to pay for or you know paper brown paper bags from the grocery store or magazines my family's gonna throw away those are things i'm allowed to use i'm not gonna go out of my way to buy any of those things though so that includes journals planners ephemera of any kind pens pencils because honestly the likelihood of me needing a pen when they're all over the freaking place in my own room and in my house like my family are stationary people so there's really no reason for me to buy pens and pencils uh, I really love fountain pens. I don't own any because I just don't, I try to be cautious with my buying. Um, so even though I love them, I don't have any. There's one that I really want, which is like the one of the pilots. And I still haven't bought it because I just, I know for a fact that I'm gonna need to go something else. So that is pretty much the whole buying ban. It does not start in January just because um, sometimes I uh, buy my planner in January. I already bought my planner so I don't really need it to not start in January but just in case I give myself leeway for January to um, start up because I'm getting gifts, I'm probably going shopping, etc. So I give myself January off and then from February to July I keep the buying ban going. Um, as for my planner lineup, uh, I'll do that maybe next week. I'm still waiting for the planner to get to me and so yeah that was my I guess junk journal slash creative journal setup for 2024. I hope you enjoyed. I know I'm not the best talker in the world. I get very nervous and I have to take lots of pauses. If you ever realize that my audio is really like funky, like maybe it's like choppy, it's because a lot of times I have to stop, take a few breathers, drink some water because I get really, really anxious even though I'm like in my room by myself with my dog. Um, so I'm really sorry if it's hard to understand me sometimes. If you have any questions and if I ever confuse you, please let me know below. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. And peace out, Girl Scouts.